it truly is almost like a, its own planet. Um, the exterior of the, the site here is like walking on the moon. It really is. It's nothing but a whole bunch of lava rock, and you're above the clouds the majority of the time. It is a very remote location. We are at the top of the volcano and the highest peak in the island of Maui. And we're capturing objects that no one else in the world is capturing on a nightly basis. We're finding lost satellites that were never tracked 30 years ago every night and uh, we're keeping track where they are to make a safer place uh, to operate in for everybody's assets around the world, not just the U.S.'s assets. On an average night, we track uh, 20 plus uh, unknown objects with the sensors and we catalog them or we send them to the Joint Space Operations Center and they catalog them and they uh, start to track them and we'll follow up and track them. Uh, my mind is very uh, open to <laughs> things that I never knew that even existed. I see all kinds of stuff. Um, it, it's very unique to see, you'll be watching the sensors uh, display screen and console and you'll see a nebula form on the, uh, the screen and uh, I, we get to see things that most people never see in their lifetime that are in space. People are always very surprised when we give them tours up here and we show them a depiction of how many satellites there are in uh, near Earth orbits and deep space and that's mainly because uh, people don't think about it uh, as much and they don't realize just how long that we've been in this business and launching satellites up there and it's more the reason to be very responsible with, uh, with the assets that we do have and to keep track of where they are through our deep space surveillance.